I had previously created a video about setting up Windows 3.1 and DOSBox so you can play your old Windows games on a modern computer. In that video, I talked about dithering and gave a super quick description on what it is. I didn't have time to go into detail on it and it's pretty hard to illustrate exactly what dithering is in such a short amount of time. In this video, I will go into a little more depth on how dithering works. Simply put, dithering is a way of getting more colors out of the current ones that you already have. Let's take the original Game Boy for example. It was only able to display four shades of green, or gray in later models. So it was really limited in what types of graphics it could display. Here, I have the four different shades of green the Game Boy displayed. Now four colors is not a lot and really limits you on what you can do graphics wise, but let's say there is a way I can double the amount of colors without actually adding any new ones. That's when dithering comes in. One method of dithering is to arrange two nearby colors in a checkerboard pattern. I'll zoom into an area to illustrate this. Then I'll take the lightest green color and combine it with a darker green shade right below it. I'll do the same to the rest of the image by combining the parts of the lighter shades with the darker ones below them. And I'm done. In this close-up view, you can notice that there's a checkerboard pattern of two different colors. But if I zoom out, your eyes will blend the two colors together and create a brand new shade. Before, you can only notice four distinct colors. Now, you can see a smooth transition between the lighter and darker colors, giving you the illusion of eight colors being displayed. But there are still the same exact amount of colors as the original. Now, let's compare this image to the original. Here we have the original image, and here we have the new one. Zoomed in, you can really notice the checkerboard pattern I created for the dithering. But if I zoom out, it's very difficult to notice. In older computers and game consoles, they had to work with a lot fewer colors than what we are used to today. So this was used a lot to improve the look of the graphics you can display. I hope this video helped you understand what it is. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and I'll speak to you next time.